Hello everyone. In today's video, we're gonna talk about strategy building in TradeCon. So today we're gonna create a simple crossover strategy. And first, let's get the basics down. So to create a strategy, it's very simple. You just go to Strategies bar, and then a drop-down menu opens. You can click on Create. Now, once you click on Create, you will be in the Create Strategy page. So it's very simple. You can give your strategy name whatever tags if it's based on pivot points, support resistance, theta, gamma, bullish, bearish. You can also add a strategy description of your choice. Now this is where the important part of a strategy comes in, set. So a strategy can have multiple sets, one set for long trades, one set set for short trades. So set is basically like a sub strategy inside a whole strategy. A set has multiple components. A Compulsory component is an entry block and a set repair. Now, since we have only set number one, there is only universal exit because there is no other sets. Now, as soon as we click on add new set at the right corner, set exit will come. So this is the entry, this is the exit, this is the entry for set two, and this is the exit for set two. So whatever positions are taken in entry, if the condition of the set exit is satisfied, those positions taken in the entry of set 1 will be exited. Similarly, the same goes for set 2. If you have taken, let's say, a PE option in set 2 entry and the exit condition is satisfied, then only the PE option of the position taken in set 2 entry will be squared off. Hope that's clear. Now, uh, each condition block, let's say entry block, has two components. One is the condition builder and one is the position builder. So condition builder, if you click on the add button, is where we'll build the entire logic. As you can see, it says condition builder. This is where we build the entire logic of the strategy. The, let's say for example, close greater than SMA, close less than SMA. Everything that is logical will be here. Now, position builder, if you click on add, it says position builder. And here will be uh, building the positions that has to be taken once the condition is met. So basically this is like the left hand side and the right hand side of an equation. So once the condition is met, these are the positions that has to be taken. And exit, set exit does not need any position because whatever is the open position at that time, those will be exited. If there are two open positions taken in entry, if the set exit is satisfied, all the both, both the positions are squared off. Similarly for set 2. Now we have something called as list. So if you want to check, uh, let's say on a list of Nifty 50 stocks, you can select Nifty 50 here. And if you want to view what are the Nifty 50 stocks, you can click on the three dots here and you can click on view. So these are the stocks that will be checking or will be taking positions. In. Now if you want, you can create your own custom list. You can just click on add and create your own uh, list of stocks. This is the list builder. You can select any exchange, anything that you want. So once, if you select Nifty 50 here, the position builder will automatically take. So let's click on add. See, the exchange is NSE and the type of stock and the list is already selected. You select, let's say, a different list. Let's say a futures list, FNO list. Then if you click on add, the type is futures and the list is FNO. If you want, you can change the futures to an option also, put or call. So hope the basics is clear. Uh, in the next video, we'll actually build the entire conditions. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned.